Good morning everyone, I'm going to be filming my skincare routine today. I'm kind of doing the full thing. There's some things that I use intermittently depending on the day or how my skin's feeling. So I've just washed my hair and I've just put my pyjamas on because I'm not sure what to wear right now because I don't know what we're going to be doing today yet. So to start with, I use one of these reusable like cotton wool pad things and I'm not sure where they're from though. I use it in the shower to wash my face which I know you're kind of not meant to do but I use it to kind of especially in winter it's good to take off the layer of like dead skin i find that i get really cold the cold really affects my skin and gives me kind of like a hard layer which sounds really horrible but it, it you know i have that sort of problem and then at the same time i have really sensitive skin so it's a bit of a an annoying combination and take all my makeup off with it and sometimes i use the lizelle cleanse and polish hot cloth hot cloth cleanser it comes with a little cloth that's a cotton cloth and muslin cloth or something and it's good for exfoliating dead skin as well. I hardly ever use this in the winter, it's more for the summer just because of my skin so different then it works better that time of year. So I just wanted to show you guys that and I'll link it below. Once I've then sat down at my desk on my beauty station, I then use toner and a normal cotton wool pad to get off any like residual makeup and just cleanse my skin and tone it. At the minute the toner I've got is the Nivea 5-in-1 micellar water and it's got makeup removal, gentle cleansing, hydration, calming effect, soothing skin. And I got it because it's sensitive skin. So for me, my skin changes quite a lot through the seasons and I'm not, it's really hard to keep track of it. So it's easier for me to just get sensitive skin stuff and it still works just as good in the summer. It just means that I'm not gonna end up risking having any sort of reaction or breakout in a way. Just kind of wipe through. And I tend to go over my face in the pattern of what I've learned is just good for circulation in your face. It's just that way. And it's like the nicest step. And this is one of the most important steps for me because if I don't do it, my skin just feels wrong. Like all day, it just doesn't feel that nice. Um, and it also kind of helps on any other bits of like dead skin or dry skin that are still there like I get it really badly here on my nose and I like always have done and then make sure there's nothing on my eyebrows because I wear makeup on my eyebrows and I haven't worn makeup for a few days but I'm just gonna go over my eyelashes in case because it's good in case there's anything residual and dirt and stuff and then I use eye gel so I've been using this one for a while, it's the Boots own brand Vitamin C Brightening Eye Gel and when when I did my first skincare video I realised that the best, I looked at all the good stuff for different age groups and your skin type of things and under 30 it says you're better using eye gel rather than eye cream so that's just why I went with this one and it's quite cheap, I'm not someone who can spend loads on this sort of stuff so this is just a really nice one and it's just really simple and it's light and it makes you feel really awake and it's great so it's really nice in the morning uh, to wake you up and get you going so I just put it all around my eyes because I know you're meant to here and this is also like sensitive area to be honest even if it's not for the skincare benefit it just feels really refreshing and then in the same stage as that I've started, I kind of used to have like a spot wand that was also from Boot and it was in their tea tree gel range and it was, I use it because it was quite cheap and I found it just like, it was really good because you just spotted it on where your spots were because you don't need it on your whole face. But they were quite small and there was a lot of plastic in them and they used, it was like one end was like for the day and one end was for the night and I found that it, it went, ran out really quickly and I'd use one end more than the other and they were like four quid. Then I found this, which is in the same range, and it's night treatment gel, so half of this would be in the pen. Although it says to use it at night, it's just so much cheaper, so this was £3.50 and obviously uses a lot less plastic and lasts me like six months. So I only take a tiny, tiny drop out, like you don't need that much because you just need it where you've got maybe blemishes. I'm going to check that I haven't got any whiteheads and that my skin's clear and that scent. I never get them, I normally get them overnight if I do get them. So the most common place that I find that I get them is where I wear my glasses when I'm at work. So here, and weirdly here, which is where the glasses, like the frame just sits, and then any here. When you clean glasses, now you can see where I've 
touch my face so now I've got lovely red patches everywhere. I've popped some white heads and checked whether there's any black heads and got them out and then I'll put a tiny bit of tea tree gel on the areas. I normally get it all down here and tea tree gel is also meant to be very calming for the skin. So and my nose is one of the other really bad places. The other thing that I do is, so in a minute I'm going to dry my hair, have an interlude, whilst that kind of sinks into my face so that I can get this dry. The thing that I'd use normally more in the summer but I do sometimes in the winter is the Garnier Skin Active Pure Active Charcoal Carbon like Peel Off Face Mask. So it's really good for blackheads and especially here for me. So I hardly ever use it in the winter because my skin is so much more sensitive. So I only use it really when I think I feel like it or like when my skin feels like it can handle it. Which is really hard to describe because you just kind of know your own skin. So just sometimes use it or when I have time or when I want to spend time like really looking after myself. And I'll link that below as well. Whilst this all sinks in and kind of dries off because obviously it's gel. It kind of sits on your skin for a little bit. I'll start drying my hair and then I'll come back to you guys. So, I've almost finished drying my hair. It's basically there, it just needs finishing off. When I did my other skincare video, which was, I can't remember if it was winter or summer when I did it, but I'll link it above. I had someone commented and said, hyaluronic acid, whenever you use it, if there's not moisture in the air, it kind of, it can dry out your skin because it pulls the moisture out. So I kind of remembered that and kind of stopped using for a bit and then used it in certain times. So. I'm not sure when is the best time to use it, so I used the Superdrug one. I did have the Ordinary one, which is really good as well, but then found this one, and Hyaluronic Acid is just Hyaluronic Acid. It doesn't matter who it's from or where it's from. It's just what it is. But this one's really nice because it's like the Ordinary one is in a little bottle with the dropper, which is really exciting, and it's vegan, and they don't do animal testing and stuff. It's just Superdrug own, and I think it's about five pounds, maybe seven pounds. Their instructions are to put a few drops on, two to three times a week. So I don't use it every day. This is more when I've got the time. So especially on the weekend and I'm spending time doing it. Or if I'm, yeah, probably more the weekend. <laughs> so I hardly ever use it. And I will in the evening as well if I've washed my hair and I'm doing my face. So it's more when I've got time because it takes a while for it to like fully sink in. So once it has sunk in, that's when I then moisturize. This is a good one to kind of use, not as an everyday routine, but a few times a week sort of thing. And it's better in the summer, I'd say, but it depends. As per that comment, it depends kind of on the... I guess it depends how your skin goes with it as well. So I've also got a Gua, Gua Sha, which I got off Amazon, which is a nice like pink crystally one, which I think the light is too bright for. So I try and make sure I use that whilst I put the hyaluronic acid on just to get it in. I use it with hyaluronic acid because I find it works best to get it sink, sinking in rather than moisturiser. The moisturiser kind of sits on my skin. I find it really hard to find a moisturiser that goes in to my skin. I'm almost at the end of my bottle. So I'll put a drop. Yeah, I'll put like a big drop on my forehead. Lightly spread it around my face. Well, the forehead. <laughs> and then hold my finger on the top of my nose to kind of create some pull. And then with the flat end edge go up. You can already see that my the, the effect it's happening in terms of the capillaries and the blood and this movement is like a really nice one for tension um, because obviously it's kind of I found quite a lot so this is a really nice one for that and I kind of go off to the sides now see there's kind of quite a few different ways you can do this and then it kind of soaks in in time quite a lot on the side of my face And then with the groove that way, I go up um, over where my cheekbone is. And the biggest thing with these is to do it quite lightly. Like it's fine here, go a bit harder, but on this bit especially, you've got very delicate skin. I find this bit of my, my, my forehead has a completely different skin texture and is a lot hardier. It doesn't really get spots. It's normally like the best behaving part of my face. I haven't counted, but I think you meant to do it about 10 times. Kind of so that 
this bit is in that groove under your cheekbone and always pull away from your face because you don't want to kind of bring it in and, and cause tears and wrinkles and stuff so if you pull it away which is how you would if you doing a facelift and then with the flat edge I come underneath and put up. so again I normally sometimes I just pop the hyaluronic acid on and that's all I do I just chuck it on and kind of gently put it in with my fingers if I have time though I will do all of this And this one I kind of do that which you can use the gua sha for as well if you want to but and then on my chin I use it that way round like that that's good just to school so this this technique from what I've read from what I've heard don't take me as like gospel it's good for blood circulation which is helping in keeping you look younger, helps just general skin condition, and it feels really nice. So even if you just ignored all the other stuff and you don't believe in it making you look younger, it's really relaxing and it's really nice. It just feels like you're really taking the time to get in touch with your skin and your face and how it all works. So I definitely recommend it. And then I'll put a drop on my nose. And then on this bit, I normally, because it's quite, I've got quite a, bony nose <laughs> so I'd rather just use my fingers I kind of pull away where you would with sinuses and then you can do this there's a few different things you can do I mean search videos for it but this is just my routine and then I'm going to do the other side I've used hyaluronic acid all over my face. So the thing is, I don't know if this happens with everyone. And I don't know if I had it as much with the ordinary stuff. Which now making me question it, but it was so long ago since I had it. It's quite heavy as a substance on your face. So for me, I find that I have to put it on and then just leave my skin alone for maybe an hour. Quite like a while. And then it's soak in and just do its thing. My skin feels really refreshed and it feels really nice. So... It's, it'll be fine without moisturiser on, on it for a bit. I'm now going to finish drawing my hair and I'll come back to do my moisturiser later. And so I'll show you guys now because it's nothing special. I use the Nivea soft, refreshingly soft moisturising cream for face, body and hands. And so my friend got me like a little kit like a year ago for Christmas on my birthday. That was a little like star that had Nivea stuff in and it had a like little Nivea lip balmy thing and a little sample of this. And I've always struggled to find a good priced moisturiser that works really well for my skin, that isn't heavy, that's light enough, and it has to be light for it to get into my skin. It, I, I find it really hard. And finally found this after that, trying that one, and it was so good. So this is maybe £4 and it's 200ml tub, like it's quite a lot, and it lasts a really long time. I've still got quite a lot in there, and God, I've had it at least six months. Yeah, so it's amazing so it's really light you don't need much but it just it's really rich and it smells really nice and my mum uses it now and she's really fussy with her face cream so it's really good it's just really good another cheap product so everything i have and i use is i'll link below and it's all really cheap the nivea toner was the only thing that was kind of expensive for me in my eyes it was like five pound but everything like that's gone up so much in price that that's kind of the going rate i guess and that is 400 ml which is quite a lot and my benefit of this is it's 96% recycled bottle, which is good, and I'll recycle afterwards. Everything's pretty affordable and drugstore level and quite normal. I'll do all of this normally on a weekend, maybe once in the week in an evening when I wash my hair and I'm doing the full thing. However, I wouldn't do it all the time with sensitive skin because especially this time of year, maybe in the summer, I've got to kind of get, I mean, your skin also changes with the year and the the, like the season and your age and like just everything there's so much too so many factors so you kind of can't stick to one routine every season every year because everything changes and it depends on your diet and things and how you're feeling so sometimes like this week when i can feel my skin's feeling extra sensitive and i've been on a lot of walks this week so i've been outside a lot and i've been getting like cold a lot of rain and just a lot of weather what i've been doing is just washing my face i toner it 
and then I just moisturise it. Because like sometimes I'm like I just cannot be bothered. But this, it just does the job really. And sometimes I feel like I need to just give my skin a bit of a break. I don't want to stress it out too much and put too many products on it. As a point as well, I also use cotton wool pads. I mean most people hardly ever use the wipes anymore. But uh, they're very bad for the environment and they're not compostable and they, they have to go in the bin. They're just not very good. Cotton wool pads, they can be composted and they biodegrade because they're made of natural material. They're normally a lot cheaper and in general you use a lot less material because you just use one. I just use one because I use the reusable ones to wash my face. I don't use these to put the toner on stuff because it just soaks straight in and it's not very good in terms of you end up using a lot more product. And now I'm gonna finish drying my hair. I'll leave my face like this. I'm gonna pluck my eyebrows as well and then I'll put my moisturizer on. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my skincare routine video for winter for kind of combination and sensitive skin, a bit of a mix. I'll link everything below and include the product. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching.